what I love about using Arch Linux and Linux in general is that it'll run pretty much on any machine and especially with distros such as Gen2 and Arch Linux you you really build your your own system from the ground up right so you don't have all this junk uh, that you don't need it's really tailored for your own use now if you're running uh, Linux on a very old machine it'll run like pretty well but certain you know uh, uh, web standards aren't aren't really going to run that well such as like JavaScript on on older hardware for example on this laptop here I have a 1 gigahertz dual core CPU with um, an integrated GPU uh, it's one of AMD's early um, APUs from like 2012 2011 somewhere around there and when I watch YouTube on Firefox here it's it's pretty bad the experience I mean it it'll go to 360 480p at most but this GPU inside of here can at least output uh, 720p which still looks pretty decent you know I don't really need 4k but anyway uh, the solution that that I found for watching YouTube on this laptop fairly comfortably uh, was through two applications and one is VLC the video player and the other is a application called Minitube. Now, let's go over here. So VLC is just one of the best media players out there. It'll play almost any video file, um, and it even does uh, streaming. It supports many websites. Now, um, to do this, if you want to go through the route of using VLC, let's go back here. We'll just install. VLC like this and I already have it installed like you saw so I won't continue with the installation but you know once once you get through here proceed and you'll uh, you'll install it but I'll just cancel out of this so let's go back here now once you have the app actually opened uh, all you have to do to play a YouTube video is through your web browser uh, you can just copy the YouTube link up here and then you can just paste it into VLC here on open network stream right there so then you paste and you press play I would show you right now but again this laptop can't really do much so I imagine that if I try to play a video now it's gonna freak out while I'm doing a, a recording here but that's option number one and this I feel um, sometimes does not work and I haven't figured out why I've been trying to sort of debug it but uh, whenever I go through the terminal it just prints out so much and I, I just can't narrow down where the error is but I'm I'm trying to figure out exactly why it sometimes fails to open the network stream and I haven't noticed this on Windows I think I tested this on Windows and it seemed to work fine so it might be a Linux specific issue but then again I haven't really used VLC to play YouTube in in quite a while so it may um, it may have been patched already but I'm not too sure but the second option which is what I prefer is Minitube and Minitube is just a small application that uh, allows you to play uh, YouTube videos and it's it's really nice because it sort of can replace in a sense I guess not completely but it um, can give you many features such as like search uh, browse and even subscribing so you can subscribe and it will notify you like I have 48 here um, uh, video notifications of new uploads that I haven't seen um, and it also allows you to control the quality here uh, ads are um, disabled so it's really nice and it's really lightweight and even on this laptop here which is you know getting to 10 years old at this point can stream the videos really really well and uh, to install Minitube we can just do a pseudo pacman as Minitube and you see that I already have it installed so I'll just cancel out of that um, so those are my two options for watching YouTube on a on a limited machine. 
this I think is good if you're trying to also avoid advertisements because uh, this isn't done through JavaScript, so it kind of it, it cuts out a lot of a lot of the overhead, such as like tracking also. So if you want to control your privacy, also this is also another solution for you to you know have more control over what you know is your is your given right, your God given right, you know your right to privacy. But that's about all. I hope that you found this useful.